Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day so far. Happy Friday! Now this is your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update. Now we have some breaking news for our second stimulus check. CNBC reports that Steven Mnuchin says he and GOP leaders will discuss their plan to pass its targeted stimulus bill. And in regards to unemployment benefits and unemployment payments, well Business Insider reports that new research has shown that when the $600 weekly bonus unemployment payment stopped, poverty rates in the US increased. Now before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Let's get this video to 1000 likes to show Congress that we need a second stimulus check. And be sure to click the notifications bell so you never miss all the newest and most up to date and reliable stimulus check updates. Now let's take a look at what Kelly Mackey just said about the White House's response to the pandemic. Let's take a look. October 21st, under the PREP Act, we issued guidance authorizing qualified pharmacy technicians to administer the vaccine. On October 30th, we announced that McKesson Corporation will produce, store, and distribute vaccine ancillary supply kits on behalf of the strategic national stockpile to help healthcare workers who will administer the vaccines. And on November 12th, we announced the partnership with large chain pharmacies and independent regional ones to deliver safe and effective vaccines. The unprecedented response to this pandemic has already saved many American lives. And as you can see, this timeline was ongoing. This was a long process and one uh, that we are very proud of. Now with multiple safe and effective vaccines just around the corner, we urge all Americans to wash your hands, socially distance, wear a mask when you cannot do so. And with that, I'll take questions. Talking about a judicial pathway. I'll be talking about a legislative pathway. And a follow-up, how soon might Americans be able to get their hands on a COVID vaccine? Yes, yeah, so to uh, your first point, I would say this. Um, there's been multiple pieces of litigation filed across the country by various uh, individuals, the campaign and others. I will leave it to the campaign to make those determinations um, as to how to proceed. But the president's been very clear. He wants every legal vote to be counted uh, and to make sure no illegal votes are counted. Um, but with regard to a vaccine, uh, we believe that there will be 40 million doses available by the end of the year. Uh, again, this is extraordinary. This is the fastest vaccine in history by uh, the by fivefold. Um, it's really extraordinary progress. You've heard Dr. Fauci, among others, say that. And it was only made possible because of this president who said at the same time I'm pursuing a vaccine, I'm going to do something novel. I'm going to manufacture it. Uh, so many American lives will be saved thanks to President Trump and the great work of Operation Warp Speed. By the way, do you think that President Trump and the White House has done a good job in tackling the virus? Leave your comments down below. And also, do you think that President Trump should concede the election? If so, then leave a comment down below saying Biden. Now, CNBC reports that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin says that he will attempt to draft a targeted stimulus package with Democrats in the coming weeks. Mnuchin said he will meet on Friday with Senate Minority Mnuchin said he will meet on Friday with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Minority Leader McCarthy. Mnuchin told reporters today, We are going to come up with a plan to sit down with Pelosi and Schumer and try to get a targeted bill done. Steve Mnuchin said Friday that he and senior GOP lawmakers will attempt to draft a targeted relief bill. Mnuchin explained that he and the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, will later Friday convene with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and with Kevin McCarthy to brainstorm some ideas on how to pass a target relief package. Mnuchin, who with Meadows has led with President Trump's stimulus discussions for months, expressed some optimism that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer may be more open to compromise following the 2020 elections. Now folks, we should know this, that just because Steve Mnuchin says that he wants to pass a targeted stimulus bill does not mean that it's going to be a skinny bill like the ones that Mitch McConnell has been proposing. McConnell's stimulus bills should not even be considered stimulus because they had no stimulus checks at all. Mnuchin, on the other hand, worked with President Trump, worked very close with President Trump and proposed Nancy Pelosi and gave Nancy Pelosi the opportunity to pass a $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, which included $1,200 stimulus checks. So I think that Steve Mnuchin and other White House leaders such as Mark Meadows might be able to convince Republican leaders, like Leader Mitch McConnell, to pass a, one po to pass a $1.9 trillion or maybe a $2 trillion stimulus bill with stimulus checks. Now, do you think that Steven Mnuchin will be able to get the job done and pass more stimulus? Leave a comment down below. Mnuchin told CNBC today, I can tell you Mark Meadows and I will be speaking with Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy this morning. We're going to come up with a plan to sit down with Pelosi and Schumer and try to, 
and try to get a targeted bill done for the people that really need it. One thing is for certain, is that if Steven Mnuchin and Mark Meadows try and pass a skinny stimulus bill under $2 trillion, we all know that Nancy Pelosi will just simply reject that. Pelosi has made it very clear in the past that she does not want to pass anything under $2.2 trillion. Even if, our, even if a stimulus bill were to include stimulus checks and unemployment benefits, like the one that President Trump and the White House proposed before the election. So I'm not sure if Speaker Pelosi is willing to negotiate with the Republicans and the White House, especially since the Biden team is expected to come into office on January 20th, which is in two months. Business Insider goes on to say that in September and October, the poverty rate rose to 11.3% after holding steady at 9.4% from April to June. In July, the rate rose to 10.3%, and that's a rise that coincides with a time window when a $600 a week benefit lapsed on July 31st. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, will Congress get a stimulus deal done in time before Christmas and before the end of the year? With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone found this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes to show Congress that we need more stimulus. Thank you for watching everybody and until next time, have a great day.